you think about the timeline for many of these drugs that are targeting the driving abnormalities in cancer, the approval process has been two and a half to three years for many of them. That's as compared to five to 10 years for non-specifically targeted drugs, our chemotherapy drugs. The trial sizes are smaller, the numbers of patients that you have to treat are smaller, the response rates are higher, the timelines are much shorter, so the costs are correspondingly much less than having to enroll thousands of thousands of patients to see a very small effect. Small numbers of patients, large effect, smaller cost, quicker development. Let me give you a couple of examples of one example where a companion diagnostic wasn't available and drug development floundered, and another example where it was used successfully. So if you go back to lung cancer, EGF receptor it was expressed in most patients with lung cancer, and many drug companies came in and said, well, let's develop EGF receptor inhibitors. Thousands of patients went on clinical trials and the response rate was no better than about 10%. But there were these rapid, dramatic responders in that clinical trial where the tumor just melted away. When people began to look at those patients, they realized those patients have EGF receptor mutations. If you had just taken that subset of patients, if you had known that before the clinical trials, you could have focused on 300 patients, not 3,000 had gotten FDA approval. Many years later, a rearrangement in a gene called ALK was identified. A company comes in with an ALK inhibitor, targets just patients with ALK rearrangements, enrolls several hundred patients, and gets through the FDA approval process. That's where a companion diagnostic can make the difference between hundreds of patients versus thousands of patients by identifying who's going to respond and getting a quick path to FDA approval. The FDA has said quite simply, if you bring us drugs that work, we will approve them. And they've proven that time and time again with many of these new targeted agents. As we look out into the future of, of targeted therapy, it's absolutely clear that our ability to match patients with the right drug based on the molecular features of the tumor is absolutely where the entire field is headed. Enormous amounts of research are going into the Cancer Genome Atlas, which is sequencing thousands of tumors to try and identify all these driving abnormalities. Then companies pipelines are beginning to match the, the Cancer Genome Atlas to begin to pair patients with the right treatment that will lead to a high response rate with minimal toxicity. That's where the whole field's headed. Outcomes are going to be better, drug companies can develop them with much less investment, and patients are going to benefit more quickly.